sedimentary deposits of Georgia's coastal plain cover more than half the state and contain abundant fossils of both vertebrates and invertebrates. The ages of these fossils range widely, from the late Cretaceous through the Pleistocene, Ice Age. Invertebrate marine fossils are also abundant in the sedimentary rocks of the coastal plain. Most abundant are the shelled sea life of nearshore habitats, with bivalve mollusks dominating. Because these deposits are relatively young, many of the invertebrates are similar to modern forms, although fossils of extinct invertebrates can be found in the Cretaceous deposits. Cretaceous fossils. Found in the intercoastal plain, the oldest fossils include several types of dinosaurs. The fossil-bearing deposits range from 87 to 66 million years of age. The best late Cretaceous fossil beds are located in a small area at the far western border of the state, along the valley of the Chattahoochee River and its tributaries in Chattahoochee and Stewart counties. Sandy sediments in these exposures contain abundant goblin shark teeth and sea turtle shell fragments. Less common fossils include vertebrae, teeth, and scales of bony fish. The most impressive Cretaceous fish remains come from a species of giant bulldog fish, whose teeth reached lengths of 7 cm. The fish itself grew up to 4 meters long. Also common are the jaw parts and vertebrae of a schooling fish genus, which are easily recognized because of their fangs with curved bony bases. Also noteworthy is a huge coelacanth fish, a close ancestor of the famous coelacanth found today in the Indian Ocean. The coelacanth from the coastal plain was nearly three times the size of the present-day fish, reaching lengths of at least 4 meters. The sedimentary deposits in some sites are packed with microscopic parts of marine vertebrates, especially shark skin denticles, sawfish teeth, bony fish scales, and the tiny button-like teeth of pycnodonts, a group of early bony fish. As of 2006 more than 35 species were found as microscopic fossils. Surprisingly no Cretaceous mammal teeth have been found in Georgia. The fossils of marine reptiles are also present. The vertebrae and teeth of both mosasaurs, large marine lizards, and plesiosaurs, long-necked reptiles, are moderately common fossils. Some of the most noteworthy fossils found in the nearshore Cretaceous deposits are rare nonmarine animals, including freshwater turtles, primitive alligatoroids, and dinosaurs. Three dinosaur groups that have been identified from the late Cretaceous period in Georgia include hadrosaurs, duck-billed dinosaurs, a single species of tyrannosaur, a smaller relative of tyrannosaurus, and a single ornithomimosaur, an ostrich-like dinosaur. Few of the dinosaur fossils are complete enough to identify genus and species, but the tyrannosaur has been extensively studied and named a new genus, Apalachiosaurus, unique to the southeastern coastal plain. Another significant large animal presence on the late Cretaceous Georgia coast was a gigantic crocodilian, known to reach lengths of 9 meters and weights of 2.8 tons. Teeth, vertebrae, and skull bones from these primitive alligatoroids are more common on the coast of Georgia than in any other known area, and the animals were bigger than the largest known carnivorous dinosaur of the region. They were probably the top predators on the Georgia coast from 82 to 75 million years ago. Some of the rarest late Cretaceous coastal plain fossils are the scant remains of pterosaurs, flying reptiles, and birds. Only three identifiable bones of an ornithocerid pterosaur have been formally reported, from a single site in Chattahoochee County. However, small fragments of other pterodactyloid pterosaurs are known from many regional fossil beds. Similarly, fragments of bird bones are found but rarely well enough preserved to allow firm identification. These difficulties in identification result from the very thin, fragile bones of these flying animals, which do not preserve well in the harsh marine environments of the typical coastal plain bone beds.